Welcome to our video about restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome is the strong urge to move the leg because of the unpleasant feeling that improves when the patient moves the leg. So when the patient is resting, this is when most of these unpleasant feelings takes place. When the patient starts to move, those feelings improve. So those feelings include things like tingling, itching, creeping, aching. Those feelings start when the patients rest their legs for some time, like for example, sitting in the car or lying in the bed. So the symptoms are worse at night because basically at night, most of the time our legs are resting. It can be associated with kicking or twitching of the legs during sleep. And that's why most of the time, the partner of the patient is the one who complains about their partners kicking them during sleep. And because of the disturbed sleep, patients usually have daytime sleepiness and depressed mood. Restless leg syndrome can be primary with no known cause or can be secondary to an underlying condition. It may involve abnormalities in either the dopamine or iron physiology. And this point is very important board-wise. The, the abnormalities can involve the dopamine or the iron physiology. As far as causes and risk factors for restless leg syndrome are concerned, unfortunately, most of the time, no underlying cause can be identified. So it's just primary or idiopathic. Secondary causes includes iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia. This is the major secondary cause of restless leg syndrome. This is the one that you need to memorize for board exams and for also for clinical practice. Other secondary causes include things like chronic kidney disease, hemodialysis, diabetes mellitus, thyroid disorders, folate and magnesium deficiency, Parkinson's disease, pregnancy can also worsen the condition, and also some medications like antidepressants, antipsychotics, antihistamines, and beta blockers can trigger this condition. And finally, alcohol and opioid withdrawal can also cause restless leg syndrome. As for the treatment of restless leg syndrome, treating the underlying cause, that's if there is an underlying cause, usually results in the rapid improvement of the condition. For example, patients with iron deficiency anemia will experience rapid improvement of the restless leg syndrome symptoms with the treatment of the anemia. In idiopathic cases or cases without an underlying cause, lifestyle modifications like sleep hygiene, regular exercise, smoking cessation, avoiding alcohol and caffeine will also help to improve the condition. Medications like dopamine agonists, for example, pramipixol and ropinirol can be tried too. And finally, gabapentin, which is a medication, it's actually a GABA analog, that's why it's called gabapentin. And even though it's a GABA analog, it does not work on the GABA receptors. It works on the calcium channels in the central nervous system. This medication can also be tried to help improve the condition. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also check our Facebook page for more exciting information. Thank you again and see you next time.